Hello guys, so in this uh, particular video, I'm going to discuss the basic terminologies that we use in fuzzy sets. So as there are various uh, terminologies we normally use whenever we learn fuzzy sets, in this particular video, I'm going to discuss some specific uh, and very basic terminologies that we need to know uh, before going or before working with fuzzy sets. So the first one is support. What basically the support is and how we normally know what is support in a fuzzy set. As you can see in this diagram, generally see <clears throat> that everything that is having, say this is uh, say a set A, that set is having different membership values, right? In a fuzzy set, every set do have different membership values. So if the membership values of that specific set A, say membership A of X is greater than zero, so everywhere where it is greater than zero, that will be called a support of that specific fuzzy set, right? So support of A is X, where membership value of X is greater than zero. The second one is called core. Core is basically again the same thing. Is how we will calculate the core of A. Core of A is equals to X again, where the membership value of that X is equals to one. Okay. So in previous way. <coughs> We were discussing that what support is where, sorry, support is basically where the membership value of that X is greater than zero, while core is where the membership value of X is equals to one. So where the membership value is one, as you can see in this diagram, the whole thing, everyone is every membership value is having one here. So this will be called the core, and where it was greater than zero, that was basically the support. And the third point is the crossover point. It is in between. 1 and 0 that is 0 0.5 that means he everywhere where the membership value of that x is 0 0.5 that will be called the crossover point so three specific terminologies we have discussed if value the membership value is greater than 0 that is support if it is equals to 1 that is core if it is equals to 0 0.5 that is crossover point so three specific terminologies are related to each other basically here the next one is called fuzzy singleton Look at this one. This is basically one specific fuzzy set that is having different members. Uh, you can say the membership value. And if the membership value of this fuzzy set, only one membership value is exactly one, not others. Means there are lot of membership values of that fuzzy set, but only one of them is one. Then in that case, we will say that fuzzy set is a fuzzy singleton. Right? So any fuzzy set that is having only one membership value that is equals to one, that will be called fuzzy singleton. Alpha cut. Alpha cut is basically uh, uh, used for uniquely represent each fuzzy set. And what alpha set basically represent is, it is having the values where the membership value of that specific element is greater than or equal to alpha. Now you will say what alpha is. Alpha is basically a predefined value. And the value is between zero and one. 0 and 1 is included in this one. Okay. So in that case, we uniquely represent for each and every value, which is equals to that specific range. So we will discuss uh, how we are going to generate, how we are going to represent uniquely each fuzzy set using alpha cut in later on videos. But currently, we should only know that the alpha cut of a fuzzy set A is basically a crisp set. It, it will generate another set for us that is defined by that a alpha will equals to all element of x where the membership value of x is greater than or equal to alpha right same we have strong alpha cut it is similar to alpha cut the only difference is that in alpha cut we with the membership value is either greater than or equal to alpha in this case only greater than alpha will work equal to alpha will not work so membership value of that x should always be greater than alpha not equals to the next terminology is bandwidth bandwidth how we calculate the bandwidth we have earlier learned the crossover points so in that case what bandwidth is all the values that crossover point contains okay so basically is the difference between the two values of the element say we have two element x1 and x2 such that x1 and x2 both are the two crossover points so x1 and x2 are two crossover points we will get their values and then we'll get the difference between the values and that will be the bandwidth it could be possible that at a particular moment there could be more than one elements that is at crossover point then what we will do in that case we will get the extreme crossover points and then we will decide the bandwidth okay so what bandwidth is 
it is basically the difference between the two extreme crossover points x1 and x2 so we just have to find the extreme crossover point we will get the values at that point we will find the difference between them and that we will say is the bandwidth of the emphasis okay so guys this is enough for this particular video in later videos we will discuss what strong alpha cut what alpha cut is how we can uniquely represent some crisp sets using alpha cut and strong alpha cut we will discuss some other terminologies also but till then please like and subscribe thank you very much